lot of guys coming quickly. I just introduce you to a couple of people. Hello, how are you Hello everyone, my name is Maine. This is my book, it's called Muggle. I wrote it and I uh, did the illustrations for it. So how are you doing today? Is good? Yes. <laughs> That's very good. Alright, should I read this book please? Yes. Sounds good, eh? It's about a young boy who's uh, been in care for, for some time and he's come to a new school and he's finding it hard to fit in. And so he gets questioned by his teacher when he's meeting everyone in his class. And she asks him, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he says he wants to make, uh, make movies when he grows up. Muggle loves superhero movies, so why doesn't he make one of them? Muggle is the first in a new children's book series called Our Stories. The books explore the joys and challenges of navigating different cultures in the school playground. M-A-K-U spells muggle proudly. It means widgety grub. The boys laugh. So you're a dirty grub, he says. The first time that you're ever going to get those discussions and talks about uh, stamping out racism and uh, relations between Indigenous and non-Indigenous, it starts at school. I was kind of the um, kid that always wanted to make movies and you know, I eventually did do that, so, um, you know, I knew quite young that I, I wanted to be, you know, a storyteller and um, make films and TV and um, plays and theatre, so, yeah, no, look, I, I don't think there's too much of a stretch. I, you can really tell there's a, a lot of me in, to, in this story. From page to stage, Maine Wyatt recently performed his critically acclaimed play City of Gold in front of a home crowd in WA for the first time. The semi-autobiographical story is about growing up in Kalgoorlie, racism and the death of his father. At the time that I had started writing City of Gold, my father had passed, um, so I was grieving. A young Indigenous boy in Kalgoorlie had died. Um, he'd been run over um, and by a white man, so I think there was a lot of racial tension in, in Kalgoorlie at the time. I was kind of angry about the world a little bit, so uh, that sparked something in me to, to start writing and I always wanted to write. I'm always in the black show, the black play. I'm always the angry one, the tracker, the drinker, the thief. But sometimes I just want to be seen for my talent, not my skin colour, not my race. I'd like you to welcome on stage the artist, Maine Wyatt, and the subject, Maine Wyatt. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Brett. Thank you, the Art Gallery of um, New South Wales. In 2020, Wyatt won the Archibald Prizes Packing Room Prize for this self-portrait after picking up a paintbrush for the first time in a decade for a COVID isolation project. He's also done the illustrations in his debut book. I think because my mum was an illustrator um, and she had been a prolific illustrator for years, I'd always, I'd always looked up to my mum in, in that aspect, so I kind of wanted to... I've always wanted to do that and I've always wanted to tell stories. This is the story of Muggle, the witchetty grub, ranger, protector of the land. When Muggle... This is a universal story in that everyone has those anxious moments when you're a kid and you, everyone wants to fit in and everyone wants to, uh, wants to look and be ambitious about like what they want to be when they grow up and how you can connect that to your family or to your background or to whoever or whatever you want to do and, and shoot for your dreams and stuff like that. Nan calls out, Muggle, you're coming home. The end. As for a score from the most honest of critics... I think 100 out of 100. Oh, 100, 100 out of 100. Out of million. Oh, awesome. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.